And welcome back to the Factor Uncensored. COVID-19 cases are much lower in this past year. However, there are other viruses out there and they are hospitalizing a lot of people. Medical Director of Lifesavers ER in Houston joins us to talk about how not to spread those viruses tomorrow while Black Friday shopping. I was just sick last week, though. I had the flu, doing I better. For the safety of others and for myself, do you recommend if we're going out in the masses for Black Friday to wear a surgical mask and take some hand sanitizers, maybe even a glove or something? Well, I, I don't really believe in wearing gloves out there. It doesn't help. You touch something. Eventually, you touch your face. You're still going to get sick. But I do agree with washing your hands, sanitize, sanitize. Understand that everything you touch, someone else has touched it. Every hanger, every doorknob, um, every ticket that you put your hands on, somebody else's germs are on it. So definitely sanitize before and after you've touched items, keeping your mask on. Everything that we did during the pandemic, we really should be doing it now. Um, and I really think that's why we have this huge surge going on right now where people are getting the flu, RSV. We have adults getting RSV, which is usually a, a, an, an illness you see in babies, is because we've all been on lockdown for two years. We haven't had these viruses, and now we're just exposed to it. Um, we haven't been getting vaccines for flu, a lot of people, because it was COVID, COVID, COVID. Um, and so now we're all just getting all these viruses being thrown at us and we're all getting sick from it. Um, so we so really- So what do you suggest for many of us so we won't get sick? Should we go out and get those uh, COVID vaccine. vaccines, the boosters, getting- and also the flu shot? Yes, flu shot and your booster for COVID. Definitely recommend that we're all getting those. You can get them at different pharmacies. Your primary care doctors have them. Um, and that's really just one defense area. Taking your vitamins, a multivitamin. We're supposed to be eating five fruits and vegetables every day. Most of us don't. If you're not able to do that, just pop a vitamin C once, you know, every day. And that'll help um, as well with boosting your immune system, taking your zinc, your vitamin D, just little things you should be doing for your own health um, will help boost your immune system. And do you put faith in many of those uh, vitamins that you can buy over the counter or in, in grocery stores, or should you look for a specific type of vitamin? Yeah, no brand. I don't, you know, I don't think any specific brand, but each bottle will say what percent value they're able to add to your body. Um, and so I think that's what you want to look for. Even just um, one gram of vitamin C every day should be fine. Um, 100 milligrams of zinc every day should be fine. Just, yeah, that's that's all fine. Um, they're already kind of um, standardized by the um, FDA and they're safe to, you know, to self-administer over the counter. All right, well, let's get ready, get our strength together for Black Friday. Will I meet yeah. you out there, doctor? Definitely, definitely. All right, I'll see you in the, in the trenches.